Just before we head into the video, I'd love to give a shout out to the sponsor of the channel, RL Exchange. Now, RL Exchange is the best way to buy any items or credits on any platform and at the cheapest prices so that you can build your dream setup. Go and check them out using the link in the description and use code TXC to get yourself 3% off your order. This is episode 61 of trading from a rare drop all the way up to the alpha cap and right now the inventory is worth over 148,000 credits. Before we get into the trades, I'd like to mention I'm giving away a white octane every 1k subs on the channel. I'm giving away a white octane right now for hitting 29k over on my Discord server. All you have to do to enter is drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications and finally join my Discord server using the link in the description down below. But as soon as we hit 30k, I'll give away another. So subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get straight in to the first trade of the video. Okay, so this is how the post is looking at the start of the video. We bought so many items in the last episode and also a I've been trading quite a bit more. I'm back on the grind, making a good amount of profit because, yeah, realistically, I've got so many items to sell. I need to be on trading a lot because almost three rows of items, and I'm also going to be buying another item in this trade. I'm going to be putting in a shift to try and get absolutely everything gone because, yeah, I want to get it down to at least two rows. So that means getting rid of around seven items at the moment, buying a black OEM in the first trade for just 800 credits. It's 1.1k on the spreadsheet. Should be able to sell that fairly easily for the minimum value. Of course, the post hasn't updated because, it, yeah, I've got no room to actually put anything else in the trade. So it's going to stay the same for a little bit, but I'm going to be selling a Sky Blue Standard now. So obviously that'll make a little bit of room, but 600 credits minimum value at the moment. I'm going to be getting that. Yeah, I, I can't really afford to be selling anything for more than the minimum value right now. Maybe once I uh, I sell some items, I might go back to trying to sell for the minimum value. But right now, it's a shambles. I was trading, yeah, as I said in the last video, around 2 o'clock on a Thursday uh, in the afternoon, not in the morning, but yeah. Yeah, nothing was really happening. Not too many people were, uh, were on, rather. So it wasn't going too great for me. Here is the updated post as well. We've got quite a few Fenix to sell. Three unpainted and then three painted as well, which theoretically shouldn't be too hard to sell. But yeah, only time will tell because the market is a proper shambles. And here I'm also going to be selling on my Interstellar. Somehow getting 1,000 credits. I don't know how this happened because I only listed it up for 900 because right now, yeah, minimum value is 900 credits. But yeah, I only asked for 900. The guy joined put in, uh, put in 1K. I don't think he was a fan or anything. Thin, so I guess I'll take it. It's an extra 100 credits, but it's a little bit weird. I don't know why he put in 1k, but of course, I'm not going to be complaining. It's, it is extra profit for me, and also, yeah, just clearing out a few more items, because that I, I think I've got another Interstellar. Yeah, I've got another Interstellar as well, so at the end of the day, uh, yeah, it's good that I sold it. I'm also going to be starting to sell the Fenix, getting rid of the Cobalt Fenix for that minimum value of 500 credits, so yeah, again, not going to be looking for anything more. If I had maybe a Painted Octane, I might try and find the middle value, but when you've got an item such as a painted fennec which has fallen off recently. Yeah, I can't really be looking for the minimum value. I'm happy with 500 anyway. It did take around half an hour to actually get that sold. You guys don't really get to see behind the scenes of how long I actually spend selling each item because, yeah, this is only like a, a 9, maybe 10 minute video for you guys, but realistically, I literally trade maybe 5 hours roughly around there for each video, which is a lot of time for me. So yeah, make sure you drop in a like because I'm spending a lot of my time trading and the market is is a proper shambles. I'm also going to be selling three Fenix in the same trade. This was perfect. Saved me a lot of time, but yeah, getting 1,050. That is going to be 350 credits for each of those Fenix, which is the minimum value. Yeah, I might have been able to find the middle value, but it would have taken a little bit extra time, which, yeah, I, I don't have a lot of time right now because I'm trying to clear out everything as soon as possible. And up until this point, selling items was going pretty well, but I'm sort of breaking that and I'm going to be buying a white standard. Now, it's not a terrible item to buy into the inventory right now. 1.4k minimum value on the spreadsheet and I'm going to be underpaying by 100 credits which isn't too bad but to be fair looking back on this my main focus should have been selling items I maybe shouldn't have done this but it is what it is hopefully it doesn't drop while it's in my inventory because that happened last time and I made no profit and it just it, it honestly just wasted my time trying to sell it on but yeah I'll take I'll take the white standard for 1.3 hopefully we'll be able to find 1.4 but you never know it might go down I might even lose credits hopefully that doesn't happen I don't think it's happened in the series yeah, going to be selling on a Crimson Standard as well. I've got two of these, so it's good that I'm actually getting a start on them. And again, just getting that minimum value of 700 credits. Now, Standards, Phoenix, Octanes, those items are really good for making profit because they have a high uh, they have a high demand, which in theory means they should sell really easily. High demand just means loads of people are looking for them, so it's easier to sell than an item, for example, that Lime Sparkles, which not too many people are looking for, which is why it's been in my inventory for quite a long time. But right now, I'm mainly focused 
focusing on buying items. For example, the standards, Zombas, maybe the Interstellar as well that are currently in my inventory because they do sell a lot better than other items. So I can actually get trades and make progress and actually upload these videos because right now I'm trying to upload an Alpha Cap episode every two days, which, yeah, for now, going pretty well. But if trading uh, gets a little bit worse and the market falls off even more, I, I don't know if that will happen anymore. But yeah, it's going pretty well so far. Again, here is the update. It posts just swapping in a few more items. We've got the Black Jawling Dragons in there as well, the Black OEM and the Lion Sparkles, which I'm trying to sell as well. Also, I do put up more posts on that. I'm only going to show one post in the video, but I am listing up every single item on our old garage. Just so you guys know, I definitely recommend doing that. You can list up, of course, more than one post. I am doing it. It's just a little bit too much editing when I'm trying to get these videos done as soon as possible and, uh, and schedule because, yeah, five hours trading. I don't want to be spending too much time actually editing the video. I'm going to be getting rid of that Crimson Standard again, the last one for 700 credits again. Going to be swapping that out. I believe we've replaced it with the Grey Grip Strides, which, yeah, haven't had any offers on so far, so don't know what's going to be going on with those. Hopefully, I'll be able to sell them, but it's not looking great so far, I'm going to be honest. But to be fair, we have been able to clear out a large portion of the inventory. Of course, we do have a lot left, but I believe I started the episode with around three rows, so we've sold around six items, which, yeah, isn't terrible. Going to be getting rid of that Crimson Zombra as well for 500 credits, which, yeah, this item took me way too long to sell. I don't really know why. It should have a high demand and therefore be easy to sell, but yeah, past time, uh, past couple of times I've had it, yeah, not been great to sell, so I might stay away from that in the future. White Zombra as well, don't know what's happened with that. Falling off a little bit. White Draco, haven't had it for a while, and uh, yeah, I haven't had any offers on that as well, so hopefully that will pick up a little bit. Black Jewel and Dragons, however, bought it for 2,000 credits. We're going to be flipping it in this trade for 2.4k, I believe, which at the time I think was the minimum value. It's been going up and down, but yeah, getting 2.4k. Now, that is why I love to trade with low demand items as well as high demand items, because you may see when I'm buying standards, Phoenix, Octanes, I'm underpaying by roughly 100 credits every time. However, with the Black Jewel and Dragons, I was able to make 400 credits profit on low demand items. Yeah, you can underpay by a lot more, so that's what I do. They do stick around in my inventory for a lot longer, but eventually I get them sold. Well, hopefully I get them sold. I've still got some of the low demand items stuck in my inventory, but yeah, for the most part, I'm able to sell them on and genuinely get a lot of profit. Now, if you want a few tips or a little bit of an insight into what items actually make me the most profit, I definitely recommend uh, more expensive unpainted black markets. For example, Interstellar, Jewel and Dragons, Mainframe. Those have been so good recently for making profit. Not because I'm able to underpay by that much. I'm roughly underpaying by about 100 credits each time, which is pretty standard at the moment. I, I don't really underpay by anything less than that. But yeah, they're so easy to sell on. The demand for items like Interstellar, especially Jewel and Dragons, is crazy recently. So yeah, pretty much as soon as I buy them into my inventory, I can find somebody who's willing to buy them back for the minimum value. So yeah, if you're looking for some good items, definitely buy those. Hopefully, I, I'm still able to buy some and not everybody goes uh, and tries to underpay for those items now because there's going to be a little bit more competition. But yeah, those are the items that I've made the most profit with recently. So yeah, go ahead, try them out, see how it goes. Hopefully, you'll be able to make a little bit of profit as well. Here's the post I'm using. Again, just updating it. I believe we just sold the ore on the White Zombra as well for hopefully the minimum value. I wasn't exactly watching. I was talking about something else. I'm waffling away, but I'm also going to be selling on the White Draco. Now, eventually, yeah, this made me quite a decent amount of profit, to be fair. I don't buy too many White Dracos because they do tend to be quite hard to sell at the moment, but I'm going to be getting 1.4k, which again is that minimum value, but I originally paid 1,250, so getting a little bit more profit than I would uh, for another item. For example, the Standards, Fennec, so yeah, definitely, definitely a dub. Here's the post that I'm going to be using from now on. We've got some uh, of the more low demand items in there as well. Hopefully, I'll be able to sell those, but that is going to wrap it up for this episode. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications as well. Let me know what you think of this episode down below and stay tuned for the next episode coming very, very soon.